Hello Junior 5, how are you? Today we are going to talk about food relationships among living organisms. Let's start with photosynthesis process. Food is the main source of energy for all living organisms. Green plants called producers or autotrophic organisms. Plants, they make their own food during photosynthesis process from simple substances, carbon dioxide gas, water. In the presence of sunlight as a source of energy. Animals depend directly or indirectly on plants in their feeding. Photosensitive process. Plants absorb carbon dioxide, water, and sunlight to produce starch and oxygen gas. Types of food relationships between living organisms. Predation, symbiosis, saprophytism. First, predation is a food relationship among living organisms where one living organism devours another one. Predation relationship consists of the predator and the prey. The predator is the living organism which devours the other. The prey is the devoured animal. So, predation relationship consists of predator and the prey. Predator, living organism, devours the other, eats the other living organism. The prey, the devoured animal. The animal is eaten by the predator. Give reason, predation is a temporary relationship in plants and animals because it ends up by devouring, by eating the prey or a part of it. Predation in plants. Predation is less common in plant world than in animal world because they make their own food by photosynthesis process. Insect eaters or insectivorous plants. They are plants that can't make proteins because they can't absorb nitrogen compounds from soil, so they eat insects. Examples of insectivorous plants Drosera, Dionea. Ways of self-defense from enemies against predation. Camouflage and mimicry. First, camouflage. Phenomenon in which the living organism protects itself from enemies by changing its color to simulate the color of its surrounding environment. So, uh, they change 
their color to hide from enemies. Like this. For example, butterfly. It stands on a tree with similar color. Frog. It changes its color to hide from its enemies. Chameleon. It simulates the color of the surrounding environment. The second way for self-defense against predation, mimicry. Mimicry, phenomenon in which the harmless living organism imitates other harmful or poisonous living organism to frighten their enemies and escape from them. Some bees look like wasps in forming lines on their bodies to frighten their enemies, which get afraid from wasps and to escape from them. The second food relationship, symbiosis. There are three types of symbiosis. Mutualism, common sense, and parasitism. Mutualism. It's a food relationship between two types of living organism. Each one of them benefits from the other and is not harmed. The food relationship between nodular bacteria and the leguminous plants is mean. Each of them gets a benefit from the other. Bacteria fix nitrogen to provide the plant with it. And the leguminous plant provides bacteria with sugar. So, not the bacteria gets benefit from the plant. And the plant gets benefit from nodular bacteria by fixing the nitrogen on its roots. The second type of symbiosis, commensalism. It's a food relationship between two types of living organism where one of them get benefit from the other, while the other neither gets benefit nor is harmed. One of them gets a benefit and the other neither gets a benefit nor is harmed, doesn't get benefit and isn't harmed. For example, tiny aquatic living organism and the sponge. Tiny aquatic living organism get food and shelter from the canals and fissures found inside the sponge. The sponge neither gets benefit nor is harmed from this living organism. So, the food relationship between aquatic living organism and the sponge is common cellism. Aquatic living organism get food and shelter, so get benefit from the sponge. But the sponge doesn't get benefit or isn't harmed. So, neither gets benefit nor is harmed from aquatic living organism. The third type of symbiosis, parasitism. It's a food relationship between two types of organism. One of them benefits from the other, called parasite, while the other harm is called host. Compare between parasite and host. Parasite organism which benefits from the other and harm it. So get benefit from the host 
and causes harm to our host. The another living organism called the host, which is harmed, and the parasite depends on it to get food and shelter, like plants, animal, and human. Types of parasitism: internal parasitism and external parasitism. Internal parasitism: the parasite lives inside the host's body and share its food or feed on its tissues. For example, Bilharzia, liver worm, aspirus worms, tape worms, and flaria. External parasitism, the parasite lives outside the host's body and feeds by sucking its blood, like mosquito, lice, fleas, lamprey fish, bugs and ticks the jolis lamprey it's an external parasite because it sucks fish blood The diseases which we infected with by parasite organisms. Parasite like flaria causes disease called elephantiasis. Mosquitoes causes malaria. Fleas causes plague. Bilharzia worm causes bilharziasis. Ascaris causes anemia. Elephantiasis is caused by flaria. Aspirus causes anemia. Bilharzia causes bilharziasis. Fleas causes plague. Mosquitoes cause malaria. Saprophytism. It's a food relationship in which the composers called saprophytes get their food by decomposing food remains of dead organism. Saprophytism the third food relationship among living organisms. It's a food relationship in which the composers get their food by decomposing food remains or dead bodies. Such as bread mold fungus, mushroom fungus, and Bencillium fungus. Saprophytes and bread mold fungus get their food by decomposing food remains. 